from Choctaw Resort in Durant, Oklahoma. This is Poker Night in America. Welcome to Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen, alongside someone who still talks to a girl who catfished him, it's Joe Stapleton. Catfisher people too, Chris, <laughs> and uh, I admire her. Well, I admire her taste in men. I admire her taste in me. She chose me, Chris. Uh, you crazy kids and your computers. Yeah, well, I'm 36, so let's head to the table where everyone is a fish, That's if you're Kyle Bowker, who is currently the only player with a profit and a big one at that. Everybody else is going down. He's the only one moving in the right direction, Stapes. Everyone else is a gigantic loser. <laughs> Plus, they're not profitable. Okay. But there's no... Yeah. And we get started in seat one with Bart Hansen. So if you win a pie, you don't have to tip. It's just that was for everybody. For Which card indicates certainly. who's yeah. tipping the commentators? Chris has got like nine kids to feed, including his son, Bart Hansen. What was your name down there? Bobby. Bobby Kane. Nice to meet you, Bobby. Nice to meet you. Are you from Oklahoma? Or? Uh, yeah, I'm from uh, Noble. Just a small town, about two hours. North of here. Well, who invited Leaf Erickson to this game? Look at that beard. I thought I recognized that funny looking sailboat outside. Welcome to the game. Thank you. Watch out for this guy. He's been doing, I'm, I'm doing it all day. My, my friend Mike over here. <laughs> See, now you made him cool here, King. Well, I'm, where I'm from. <laughs> right now I'm living in, in Now you made him cool. Where I'm from. Mike Ross, Bart Hansen, heads up in our first hand here tonight. Flops five, ace, nice king. Yeah, check. Yeah, there, just, no, just me. You just decided. Good game. Yeah. Mike about, Ross uh, continues lighting money on fire. Yeah, exactly. Does have a gut shot, I guess. Yes, yeah, Bart's got top pair. Very good kicker. Seems like an obvious spot it's for even, a call. It's not even a, uh, it's like, it's not even one bedroom, it's a studio. But and Hanson calls. I just sleep there. Sometimes. They could tell them a simple excuse instead of a simple no would be better than an excuse. That's fine. I mean, oh, oh, come on. Deuce totally on the turn gives Ross days. the wheel. Six yeah. bedroom with yeah. a spot. I don't want you in the game. So Bart, I'm probably not really even going to see this coming. You want another? Poker Ross is not supposed to have three four. <laughs> Who needs a horse when you just walk in and 1500. win? Yeah, Bart could be a little bit worried about ace king or king queen, definitely, but not enough to not call this bet. So Bart's gonna call. Person who has the right. So we will see a river. An ability to play regardless of situation. Yeah. Best case here for Bart is no ace or no queen. He's still back. Dodges that disaster. Who was I thinking of? The kid that won. Cord. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't back anybody. Now, Bart's a really good player. I think there's a chance, a good chance, he gets away from this. If Ross bets anything decent. Six thousand is the bet. Pot size bet and easy fold for Bart. That was good. You ever heard of Hamilton? That's Ham I've heard that's of it. Hamilton. Oh really? Yeah. Kane Hamilton. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not the best rapper. I'm not sure I could, could be in that show. Have you seen it? No, I want to though. It's in Chicago right now. You don't say. I saw Book of Mormon on uh, Broadway. That was what do you think? Amazing. I just I'm thinking saw of going next week. So good. I just saw it on Broadway. Also yeah, on Broadway. So it was good. good. It was good. So yeah. good. Funny. I'm thinking Chicago. of going with my roommate. It's so next funny. Week. It's yeah. just words that, that rhyme, guys. The one Here's my hot take on Broadway. Yeah. The bar is so low for Broadway that yeah. things that are just yeah. okay, yeah. everyone yeah. says it's amazing. And the way that the like the sound, yeah. like it doesn't it doesn't hit you at the same time, so it kind of like one speaker's coming. They get there at like different times. So right. It's funny. It was, but it's really funny. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. And, yeah. You know, I was rather enjoying this conversation at Broadway, and now we have to ruin it by someone getting stacked. I was going to gamble with you. Wait, I think I had but you beat. You'd rather have. No, we have, I, you, you had me beat, but. You'd rather be against my hand. I I'm not sure I'd rather. I know I'd rather be against your hand. I definitely wasn't going to What's going on, Queen? I was going to gamble. Yeah. They went all in. This is a typical Skippy Poker Night in America hand, oh, yeah, Jackson Queen's. Queens. Right well, now do the typical rebuy. I would have won, too. Would have won, though. You would have beat me? Running back. You would have beat everyone? King Queen of Spades. Yeah, it looks like he's going to rebuy for about, what, 10 lordry? 
10K. Greason takes a nice big pot, his first one on Poker Night in America. Greason the wheels. Douglas Lorgery needs a moment to rebuy, so we here shall take a break as well. You know, Lorgery is my least favorite line from Victoria's Secret. Welcome back to Durant, Oklahoma, the Choctaw Resort and Casino. Douglas Lorgery has just rebought for 10,000, so let's get back to the felt. Oh, have you ever I mean, seen? no. I, the, the article have you guys I ever seen Rocky IV? Yeah. You see what Drago can do with that PSI? Let's, the article let's I read put it on was that it was the equivalent. <laughs> that, that was the article I read about. It was like it was equivalent. And I definitely don't want to take it. Who's writing this moronic <laughs> article? I don't know. I mean, there's, there's sports <laughs> science behind science it. Science idiots, yeah. I guess. No idea what they're talking about. Glad we came to this conversation late. Would you rather get repeatedly three bet by Kyle while he always flops the best hand? Or blind out in a tournament for 18 <laughs> hours and not make any money. <laughs> Good question. All in. Well, I'm gonna do both. I'm gonna do both. So this was perfect timing. <laughs> Man, these decks are icy cold. Please, no, it can't be. To give you a rematch. Oh, so close. <laughs> I hate that. I'm out. This deck is colder than the ice cold Rocky Mountains. Ah. <sighs> That took long. Yeah, basically. Oh, uh, look, well, he no, smiled no, as he no, called. No, no, What's no, going no, on with Kyle here? Basically. Oh. Nice hand, Kyle. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, just how are this many premium hands being I dealt out? It. Queen on the flop. Oh, boy. Bunker looking for another queen or an ace. King's old. Yeah, I had it. I don't want to jinx it. I had it. I had an ace. The butcher, the baker. The overpair maker. Actually, so I had a sweater, actually, two aces, but not so much. We got him now, boys. We got him now. Yeah, but you got it all back from him. I don't get it back. There's yeah. a big difference. He's got a bomb around. Big difference. He's got a bomb around when he has money. What was the name of the horse? I don't know. But the name of the guy that beat us was the Mauble. And we call him the Mauble because there's not a sharp side on him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Marble. That's what he said. Mauble. Got, got it. He got us good. Daily double. He got us good. Anything but that six horse. All right, Baker raising pocket threes. Lordry's in with queen ten. Greason calls king eight suited. Ross has got a suited ace four. This is fun. Everybody with a little something to look at. Four person party. Flop is queen, deuce, jack. Couple of clubs. Check. We should see this pot drop down to just two players. Lordry with his top pair. Greason with the second up flush draw. Lordry bets 800. All right, Kyle, we got the question and he gave his answer. So we'll just, do, we'll do 100. Okay. All right. So the question was, it's what Bobby thinks, the combined number of times that all seven of us at this table, uh, if you add our, our numbers together, have ridden a horse. Okay. And do I start with the number, right? You can start with the bidding if you want, yeah. So you'll bid one, and then I'll bid two, and then right. we sell. Out of what is this right. budget version yeah, of Johnny Ludden thinks right now? It's like the Hydrox of prop pets. <laughs> Doesn't he know you ride a horse to go to the convenience he's, store? But he's in, he's in it, right? <laughs> he's so like he's if, in it. If he's, he's in ridden it. a horse 130 times, then, the then his number is probably right, over 100. Right. It's, uh, 10. 15. How many times have you ridden a horse? Ever? A horse or a pony? 20. Oh, one and the same. Yeah, 16. 16. Yeah, like a half dozen. I grew up on a ranch. Oh. Jolly Ranch. So we went we went into candy. Jolly, you're a yeah. Jolly Rancher. Thank you. I think Thank you very much. Right. Yeah. But whatever. Of course, because he lives yeah, out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because then you just have to guess how many times he's right. ridden a horse. Right. Yeah, but he don't know. What was your number? I'm from a small town. I've never ridden a horse. I'll go tw 27. So calling again here with a flush draw becomes slightly less profitable now. King high is definitely not the best hand. You're not drawing to the nuts. The board's already paired. What are you saying? I, mean, I don't love a Four call times. here, but uh, how about a raise? That's always an option. It's almost like it. No, it doesn't matter. Like our numbers, see the just so many draws Greason could be doing this with that it's super hard for Lordry to get like away from the top high. pair. Yeah. Or he hasn't ridden a horse, and then it's, it's going to be very like, rare that Greason's going to be yeah. doing this with full houses or a better clean. A horse, can you believe that somebody else here has ridden a horse? A lot. I also like that he's trying to play the hand while the rest of the table is discussing how many times he may or may not have ridden a horse in his life. <laughs> <laughs> I have, I have like three or four times. 
All right, I'll go. I'll go. I'll go 33. But he doesn't know, so it's irrelevant. <laughs> I mean, a horse really is the best vehicle for sacking and burning villages, okay. so right. my guess is right, it's so pretty high. All right. You have over 33? 33 and over. Oh my god. You think he's got it? I think for sure he's got it. Yeah, it's all about Bobby's. Who it's all about it's, it's whether Bobby's ridden a horse or not. Yeah. If he hasn't, maybe he hasn't, you never know. But it's about himself, though, too? No, no I, I would be shocked. Place. But maybe, who knows? I'm from a small town, I've never ridden a horse. How many, have you ever ridden a horse? You're from a small town in a city, though. I mean, a city, a, a, not a... But it's not really a city. Wow, Lordry lays it down. Bobby, how many times have we ridden a horse? You want to say that loud now? Yeah. 26. 26? Wow, yeah. good line. How do you know? Just huh? guess. He doesn't know. He guesses. And someone yeah. doesn't understand yeah. how the game is played. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oof, I don't know about that fold. Uh, have you ever made a Terry fold? I want to take you to the Terry fold dance. Grab that Terry fold flap. Hold that Terry Terry fold. Hold my hold it flaps. What? What did you just say? Terry fold. The number. The number of. Uh, I still gamble occasionally. Uh, the number of contacts that Bart has saved on his phone. The answer's is three. You can't do that. The answer's three. Wait, yeah. it's three. <laughs> Tuckman? Tuckman. Yeah. Tuckman cell. Tuckman house. Oh, Crush live poker office. Yeah. Started at 50. Whoa, wait, wait. He needs to... Oh, sorry. He needs to give oh, his sorry. answer. Bobby, did you hear the question? Uh, contacts on somebody's phone? Um, on Bart's phone. His phone? Yeah. Number of contacts. Sounds like we have another round of something like Laden thinks. Tuckman. Tuckman Number. cell. Tuckman work. Right? Three. Tuckman. Is that a straddle? Tinder customer service. Uh, it is. <laughs> it's a straddle. It's a straddle. Guys, they're all yeah. straddles? It's a straddle. Okay. All right. I gotta get on that Tinder more often. I literally just downloaded it like a couple days ago. I'm on it all the time. Yeah. I didn't think you were gonna fold. <laughs> just, yeah. just kidding, honey. <laughs> I should have raised. Just a little sweetener. Yeah, I don't mind. Funny, my phone just went off, right? <laughs> that was me super liking you. The answer has been given. Deuces are still ahead for now. This deuce has gotta be shrinking. I think these two should both be pretty content to keep checking. And just like that, the ace works its way into Broadway after all that checking. Backer bets. Ross calls with the near nuts. Oh wow, I was winning on the phone. How's that possible? <laughs> At least they keep it pacey. We continue late into the night here on Poker Night in America at Choctaw, Durant, Oklahoma. What about 90 minutes north of Dallas? I've never been to Oklahoma. Wait, that's not true. I drove through it once. The longest month of my life. Why am I ripping on Oklahoma? It was fine. There was nothing, it was nothing wrong with Oklahoma. It was totally <laughs> fine. Here's your chance to bust me. Yeah? You ever get enough hands? Well, I mean, I don't know. If we get the right flop. The killer bees, Baker and Bowker, heads up. Certain flops I'd be willing to go broke with. All right. Flops Jack, five, eight, couple of diamonds. Bowker's rave seems a little reckless given the fact that no one is ever folding their straddle and he's out of position. He did flop a gut shot. Check. And David keeps checking his nines, knowing that Bowker's more likely to bet with a worse hand than call with a worse hand. And that's exactly what Bowker is doing. So far, so good for David Baker. Queen on the river. Sure. Baker giving Bowker one last oh. chance to bluff at this, and Bowker <laughs> has obliged him. <laughs> oh. It was all going so good just a second ago. Now, there are a lot of missed draws out there from this flop, but this is a tough call to make. Bowker's overbet the pot. Nines are losing to quite a bit. Oh, 
Kyle Bowker, he's good at poker. He really is. It was a crazy game of Bowker. Woo. Looks like we are going back to the triple straddle. Do it, guys. I love the smell of burning money in the morning. Grayson folds over to Bart. Oh, sorry. I probably, probably need to leave my small one out there, huh? Bart Hansen folds. Conquer the semi decent hand. At least give him something to think about. And David's going to be incredibly tempted to defend this straddle. Maybe he thinks his hand is too bad to just call and puts out another bet. Nope, he does just call. You've called like 85% of hands. <laughs> Bowker flops two pair, checks it super fast for a little deception. Everybody subtract 30 from your number and go to that table. That's gonna work out really well. He knows he's gonna have the best hand so, 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 so often. 800, the bet from Baker. And a call from Kyle Bowker. So we head to the turn. Queen of Hearts. Still not much for Bowker to be afraid of. David still trying to apply pressure. He was right in his assumption that Kyle would be calling a really high percentage of his hands pre-flop. Just so happens that Kyle's got a hand that he is not folding given this dynamic. You win. Ace and David Baker pulls a reverse Rick Astley and most definitely does give it up. Sometimes waving the white flag's the way to go. Bart, Bart and Gatsby. even more straddling happening. More straddling happening in this game than the VIP room at Orlando's. Raise total five hundred. Mike Ross makes it 500, Bowker calls. Now to ODB. All in. Players on. Get you some of that. Uh, why not? Baker can potentially pick up some dead money. If not, he's gonna be flipping a lot, and even worst case scenario, he's still gonna suck out one out of every five times. But A7 and Jack-10 are two hands that could conceivably fold pre-flop. Which hand would you rather call with? I'd rather call with Jack-10, but I think that that's probably uh, not the best move. Oh. Ross calls. Oh, hmm. <laughs> Bowker really? is loving the price maybe that he's getting here. It's 3,000. To win almost 8,000. I think a call here would actually be pretty insane. He's never going to be ahead. He's often going to be dominated. But I'll tell you what, calling sure is fun. Oh, there you go. I wasn't expecting that, buddy. I might as well get in there. I mean, in his mind, he's got a royal flush give, draw. Give David a chance to get even. All right, so just under 11K in the pot. That could all go to David Baker if those fours hold up. 25% chance that happens. Something tells me we're gonna see more fireworks between Ross and Bowker. Flop is 839. Well, that's a fun flop for Jack-10, up and down. Check, check. King on the turn. Not the paint Bowker was looking for. Fours are holding. Check, check, River. Come on, one more card. A three comes on the river. Ace high. The fours squeak in, triple up with pocket fours. How? Yeah, look at that. David Baker not acting nearly surprised enough that fours held up three ways. Hi, Jack. Thank you. David ODB Baker with a well-timed triple up there. The voids being felted and now actually he's looking at a very small but much welcomed profit. Welcome back to Poker Nights in America here at Choctaw Resort and Casino. That is a wrap on this lineup. Let's take a look at the final counts. Douglas Lorgery wins the loser's bracket, dusting off 20 grand. 
Kane Callis finishes down 11.5. Mike Ross ends up in the hole about 7K, and Bart Hansen is out about five grand. Kyle Bowker is our big winner, but you wouldn't know it from that dead-eyed appearance. He will take home nearly 32 grand. Abe Greeson finishes up over 10,000. Our other winners, or as I like to call them, not losers, finish not losing their stack plus about 1,000. Next time on Poker Night, new lineup. Who dis? We got Alec Torelli and Esther E. Tay Taylor, as well as Matt Clance, but he's always here. He's the Jeffrey Ross of Poker <laughs> Night. Who else we got? Gavin Smith will be here, Chan Pelton, he's allowed to play here, and he loves Choctaw, as do we here on Poker Night in America. If you want more Poker Night, you can find us on social media, including Twitch and YouTube, where you can find full episodes, live streams, and exclusive content. Also, don't forget to download the new free poker app. You and your friends can have your very own Poker Night, as well as a chance to win a seat in our show. Search for us in your app store and download it today. For everyone here at Poker Poker Night in America. I'm Chris Hansen. He's Joe Stapleton, and thanks for watching. I have 200 and over. Uh, can, can I say the answer? Yeah. 73. <laughs> yeah, Mark, how many have like, uh, like 1,200? Yeah, probably. Yeah. I would have yeah. guessed I would have gone for 1,200. See, let's, but he's uh, from a small town. Let's ask, so he, let's ask uh, someone else because I'm just insulting these people <laughs> no, right now. No, it's great. <laughs> no, it's awesome. <laughs> <That's> like, <laughs> just insulting everyone. You guys missed it. Poker Night is brought to you by Kimosabi Mezcal and Sit and Go 2.0.